Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about evaluating limits. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this limit right here, and it's a tricky one. The limit as x approaches 0 from the right of the floor of negative 2x plus 1. And the floor, so the floor you'll see is that symbol, um, we take the floor of x is really the greatest integer net less than or equal to x. And we'd see it as like the floor of x, that's how you pronounce it. So what does that actually mean? Okay, so let's go test what happens when x approaches zero from the right. Okay, we're approaching from the right here. Okay, approaching zero from the right, well, we can see we can use a little table here. Okay, so if we put x and y here, or f of x, doesn't matter. We're approaching zero from the right. We can't just plug in zero directly to get an answer. We're gonna see what it's approaching here, okay? So if we have a, um, let's go with a, was it a one half? Let's go, yeah, let's go one half here. One half in for x, what happens? One half in for x, right? A negative two times a one half comes out to be negative one, plus one is a zero, right? So we approach a zero. So we have negative one half, negative one plus one is a zero there. All right, so it actually hit the integer right off the bat here. Well, what happens, let's go a little smaller, a one fourth here. So let's do some work here. If we have a one fourth, so negative two times a one fourth plus one, negative two times a one fourth is a negative one half, and then we add one to that. Negative one half plus one here, right, is a negative one half. That's our positive one half. Ah. Positive one half. I got thrown off here. All right. But I'm not going to plug just one half in there. We're taking the floor of that output, the greatest integer less than or equal to that one half, which is zero. Let's do another one here. Let's go one, I don't know, tenth, let's say. Uh, so put a one tenth in as we get closer and closer to zero from the right. So negative two times a one tenth plus one. Negative two times a one tenth is a negative, well, that's a one fifth plus one. And negative one fifth plus one comes out to be, well, negative fifth plus one plus one is a four fifths. That's still less than one here. So the greatest integer less than or equal to four fifths is zero. Okay? Now, what happens if we actually plug in zero for x? Negative two times zero plus one. Negative 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. But this is the key here when we say we approach 0 from the right. We're not actually plugging in 0, right? So 0 in is a 1, but that's not going to be our limit here. Because again, we're approaching from the right, not actually plugging in, and that's where the jump happens. So if we're approaching from the right here, right, 0 from the right, it's approaching a value, a y value of 0 when we use the floor function. So this limit here, or I'll rewrite it, as x approaches 0 from the right, the floor of negative 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. That one's tricky, but it's our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.